when you look at it from far, far away. It looks pretty circular, doesn't it? But when you zoom it in, does it still look like a perfect circle? The circularity tolerance is used to limit deviation of the circular elements of a part surface, such as cylinder, sphere, and cone. Sometimes, circular surfaces are used for moving parts, such as ball bearings or spools, in which circularity helps to ensure these parts move smoothly and wear evenly. Because circularity is applied to an individual surface, this tolerance does not need to be related to a datum. The first example of circularity tolerance is shown below. Although a cylinder is shown, this example applies for conical shapes as well. The simple pin shown in the left figure has a circularity tolerance applied to it. The boxed symbol can be read. Each circular cross-section of this cylinder must lie between two concentric circles spaced 0.25 units apart. The right figure shows a sample cross-section AA and its possible roundness relative to the tolerance zone. Note that circularity applies to the entire length of the cylinder and would therefore require multiple checks to verify that the pin meets the specified tolerance over its entire length. The second example of circularity is shown below and it's applied to a sphere. In the case of a sphere, the circularity tolerance now applies in all directions and since any cross-section through the center of the sphere should be a circle, the verification of the sphere is therefore more complex than for a cylinder or cone, which will require measurements in only one plane.